How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of the AFC Wimbledon Road to Glory career mode and this is going to be episode number 84 of this series and before we do get into anything I want to thank you guys for all the support you gave on the last couple of uploads. A couple of days ago I uploaded a video basically asking you guys what career mode you'd like to see. It's a bit of a voting video and I will leave a card on screen and a link in the description. So you can go and check it out and vote for yourself. The new career mode that we will be starting won't really last too long. But it will be very, very fun to see what career mode we end up doing. Also, before we get into the first games of the episode, I did have a little bit of an issue after recording the end of last episode. Unfortunately, I turned off my Xbox without saving. So that does mean that when I came back to this save... We hadn't played the Man United game and we also hadn't played this Monaco game either. All it means is that we ended up winning by one extra goal in the Man United game. And we also won by one less goal in the AS Monaco game. But now we will be going into the first game of the episode. And this one will be against Napoli in the semi-finals of the Europa League. Damn, that Napoli third kit looks really, really nice. Really, really nice in fact. I really like the look of that kit. But anyway... Aside from that, we are going to be going into this game. We're playing the first leg of this tie at home. So that does mean that things do change a little bit because most of the time we've been playing away from home in the first leg. I'm not going to be as attacking as I would do if we were away from home for the first leg. I'm going to be a bit more defensive, just making sure that Napoli doesn't get the away goal. It will also be interesting to see who's in the other semi-final. So it's going to be Bayer Leverkusen and also Marseille. So this is going to be very interesting. If we can beat Napoli over the two legs... We have a really, really, really good chance of actually going on to win the tournament. And that man, Hector Villalba, has hit a bit of goal form. He's had three goals in his last three matches. And maybe he can build on that today. And we will also take a little look at the Napoli lineup as well. They've got some very, very good players. Paisaj, the right back. I believe he's the Albanian one. He is a very, very good talent. They also have Gulan. They have Koulibaly. They have Lacazette and Callahan up front. They've got a really, really stacked team. This Napoli team looks very, very dangerous, very menacing. And obviously, they've got Insigne as well on the wing. I completely forgot about him playing it. And again, it's decent. If we can win the header, which we do. We almost win it back, but we do. And here goes Yukonen. We can try and cut inside. Oh, my God. He just got done. And what a save that is by Reyna. That should have been 1-0 and we just completely took the defender out of the game. Good block there by City. Let's go forward now. Draxler to Yakonen over the top again. Brilliant first time ball to Solanke. And he's done fantastically well here if you can find the overlap again. And here goes Yakonen. Oh, he's kept hold of it. Can he score? Yes, he can. He scores with his left foot to make it 1-0. And that is certainly a very, very lucky goal. But brilliant build-up play on the counter-attack. Napoli should have done a lot better. I mean, the defending there just wasn't good enough. And that is going to be half time in this game. It's been a really, really tense first half. We got a bit lucky to take the lead, but I certainly will take that 1-0 lead every single day of the week. That's really going to help us, especially if we can defend out the rest of the match. Woo! That was very close. Wow, Lacazette. Really, really close to scoring there. And Sears, I think he had it covered. But still, that was a really good effort. We can try and get a bit of pace going. Oh, this is good. This is really good. We've got a lot of space here for a City. And that is not a good finish whatsoever. And it's going to be inside here to Insigne. Through to Lacazette. No way. I mean, our goal was definitely cheese. But that is, that is next level cheese from Lacazette. We'd held out Napoli for so long in this game. And then all of a sudden, they get this little bit of luck. It's, it's, you could argue it's a good little nutmeg there on Vestergaard. But I've just been completely done. And Lacazette's always going to finish that. That's, that's what you get when you've got a world-class striker in that position. And again, we'll play it one more time. It's a brilliant ball over the top. If we can get there. And we are going to get there. Adam Armstrong should score and doesn't. And Jose Reina, Pepe Reina, whatever his name is. That's a really good save once again. Well, there we go. We do end up drawing this game 1-1 to Napoli. I think we got very, very unlucky to concede late on in the game. We had a couple of good opportunities. But Pepe Reina, he was just on fire. He made a couple of really world-class saves. And I'm not talking half chances either. We had those one-on-one -on -one opportunities. That one there with Yukonen, he should have scored that. But it's a good save by Reina. 
and also the one late on with, I think it was Adam Armstrong. We got so unlucky not to score at least two goals in this game. I'm just looking at the Premier League table. We've only lost two games this season. We also have an 11 point lead on Chelsea. And we have a game in hand over them, which we will be playing against Everton in the next one. If the team's not in the top seven, we're not going to be playing the game. And that's the rule that I'm going to apply for this Everton game. And we will be using a bit of a weakened lineup once again for this game. But like I say, it doesn't really matter because we've already got an 11 point lead over Chelsea. And a game in hand as well. So if we get a win in this game... We've pretty much won the title. We end up losing 2-1 in the end, but like I say, it doesn't really matter too much. Although McLeod does get injured, and that could be a bit of an issue. I really hope he's not out for long, but we'll have to wait and see now as we go into our office. And he's going to be out for one day with a head cut. Wow. Is there even any point in telling me that? And we do end up seeing our 16-year-old centre-back Roberts going up to a 69. And I reckon we could get him to at least a 71 by the end of the season. I've said this a lot before in these Europa League games, but this game is absolutely huge against Napoli. We are going to be playing them away from home, but more importantly, we need to win this game by at least one goal. And we need to make sure that we don't concede so that we can go through to the next round. I'll be interested to see how Bayer Leverkusen and Marseille got on in their game. So Bayer Leverkusen are currently ahead on aggregate. And it will be interesting to see who we do come up against if we win this game. This is a massive game. We need to score at least one goal in this one. We need to be as attacking as possible. But at the same time, I know it's not going to be easy. It's a good little ball by Solanke out to Draxler. who's done really well to come inside. He's going to have a shot as well. And it's deflected wide, I believe. City, well done. There we go. We're going to play this one forward. And we should really score this one. And we do end up scoring the first goal of the game. And it was coming. We really were pressing hard. And finally, we do get the goal we deserve in a City. He hasn't really played brilliant over the two legs. He missed that really good opportunity in the last one. But that's a really good ball to Draxler. And the rest is history. That's going to be a very important goal in the context of this tie. As long as we hold on now, even if we concede one, we can still win it in extra time. But we want to try and get a second goal if we can. Oh, yes, we've intercepted with Solanke, and this should be a goal to make it 2-0. And we do end up making it 2-0, even though he was taken out in the process of having the shot. And it's just really, really poor defending there by Kirakesh. He should have just cleared it first time. Solanke was hunting the ball. He got it back, and it's, it's another really good finish by Solanke. And that's going to be 2-0 in this game, 3-1 on aggregate. We get two away goals with the last touch of the first half, so that's very good to see. And we've completely deserved it, really. We've definitely deserved this lead. We've been pressing Napoli so much, and it's just really paid off. Now, let's go on the attack. Oh, oh my God. Did I really just do that? Really? Oh, we missed an open goal. I got very lucky there. I was trying to play it out from the back like I normally do, and we could have got punished there, but that's a terrible effort. It's an open goal and you still miss. Play it inside again. It's going to be Solanke getting it over the top. Nice little dink ball. Here's a Valalba who suddenly threw on goal. And it's a really good shot. And Jose Reina didn't even dive. And we've made it 3-0 in this game. And that is definitely game over. I'm just surprised we ended up scoring that third goal with Valalba. The fact that the keeper just didn't even move for that. I almost passed it into the back of the net. And it's made it 3-0. Oh, Insigne, he's done so well there. What a goal that is by Insigne. He's pulled one back for Napoli. It's probably not going to mean too much. And I'm just very happy that we scored that third goal because otherwise they could be mounting a comeback. Oh, just look at this. I mean, they really do love a driven pass and it's just a fantastic finish right into the top left-hand corner. No keepers saving that. And for some reason, Napoli are really starting to press me, trying to get a goal back and just being really attacking. And that's going to help me maybe get a fourth goal in the game. And it's a brilliant save by Pepe Reina again. And it's going to come back out here for Patterson, who's going to go for a short. And it's a great save again. And there we have it. Once again, we come behind from the first leg on aggregate. And we do end up winning this game 4-2 on aggregate and 3-1 on the night. And that is a very impressive performance by the team. And I really think it could have been more than that, to be honest. All of our Europa League ties have been pretty high-scoring games. But you look at our last two games, and we scored 10 goals over four legs in two ties against Monaco and Napoli. 
We've done really, really well on the goal scoring front. And defensively, we've also been pretty sound as well. But it is going to be the first of the month, the first of May. And that does mean we're going to take a little look at a few squad reports. The first one we're going to take a little look at is the squad report for this month, the main first team squad. It might be just me with my OCD, but I just really want Aaron Platt to go up by plus one in strength. Draxler's growing really nicely. He's up to an 83 now, and he's growing very nice technically. I didn't think he could really get much better technically but he's still growing, so that's absolutely fantastic. We'll also take a little look at our youth squad as well and see any players that we could potentially promote. We've got Emilio Vilna. We could promote him. He's pretty decent. I'm liking the look of Ryan Reed as well. He's got good physical stats to begin with, and I believe he could be a very good centre-back if we do promote him. But I'll leave that up to you guys, whether you think we should promote any of those youth players in the academy. But this will be the end of this episode of this career mode. And hopefully you have enjoyed. And hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. And if you have... Make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. In the next episode, we're going to be playing the rest of the season out. We're also going to be playing in the Europa League final against Marseille. But that literally means we've got one more episode left in this series before we do take a break. And then we will be starting our new career mode, which will be sort of a... It's not going to be a long career mode. It's going to be a short career mode. And we're just going to fill the gap and then come back to this career mode after that. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.